Hi, I'm Jeff, and in this video, we're going to cover how you can use the itinerary tool inside of Planning Pod. Let's add some items to an itinerary inside one of our events. We're going to click on the Events tab, and then we're going to go to that particular event, and then we're going to find the itinerary tool right here. And as you can see, this summary keeps track of how many items are in there. Right now it's zero. So we're going to click on the arrow button to go to the tool. Since our itinerary is empty, we're going to add an itinerary item by clicking on the button there. First, we'll add a subject. And in the line below, the date is already filled out with the date that we had indicated when we first set up this event. However, if you click in that date line, you can always change the date of an itinerary item. An itinerary can um, expand over multiple days. Um, we're going to add a start and end time as well as a location for this itinerary item. And then we're going to associate this item with a vendor. And here we can add a note for this particular item. And once we click save, we will see that itinerary item right here. So let's add another itinerary item. We're going to create the subject, and then remember if you want to add or change the date, uh, you can always click in that date field and change the date. As far as times go, when you're entering in the time, just make sure to enter in an hour, colon, minutes, space, and then AM or PM. And then finally, we're going to add the location, and then we're going to assign this to another vendor and add a quick note. And then once we're finished, we're going to click on the Save button. And here's that item right here, and we'll click on it, which will reveal the itinerary item details, and will also let you edit or delete this itinerary item. Besides adding itinerary items one by one, you can always import itinerary items from a template. Let's go to the templates area, and then we're going to look at our itinerary templates. And I have already created a meeting setup items template here, which I'm going to click on the edit button. So I can show you, here's what I've already created here. And I'm going to import this into our event. So I'm going to click on events, go back to our events, click on the itinerary tool, go up to the drop down menu, and click on import itinerary template. And here is a drop down menu where you can choose among the templates. I'm going to choose that template, click save. And as you can see right here are the items that we just imported from that template. So we're going to need to change the dates for all these items. So I'm going to click on all of them. And then in the actions menu on the right, I will click on change item dates. And I'm going to change that date to the date of the event which is April the 16th. And now you can see here, they have all been placed in chronological order. However, I'm going to need to change the times on a few of these. So I'm going to click on one of those items we just imported, hit the edit button, and I'm going to change the start time for this. And I'm going to also add a location to this item. And then I'm going to save it. So as I scan through here, it looks like this particular item might be repetitive and I don't need it. So I'm going to click on the checkbox next to it and then click on delete items. And I'm going to change the times for these other items that we just imported. So I'm going to do that right here. Let's just save that. And then this item here, I'm also going to change. We'll leave the start time at nine, but we'll put the end time at 9.45. We'll add a location for this and also associate this with a vendor. And maybe add, well, we're not gonna add a quick note. We're just gonna save that. And now you can see all of the itinerary items we've just added in chronological order. If you wish, you can also save this itinerary as a template by clicking on this link right here. 
and then we'll just type in a name of the template and this template will be stored under this name in the templates area under itinerary templates. In case you need to notify some contacts that you've made some changes to the itinerary, you can just go up here to the drop down menu and click on notify contacts. Then click in this blank field and select the contacts who are also people who have been invited into this event and then click save and they will receive an email notification. Finally, you can download a PDF of the itinerary. You can download a PDF of all the items or you can just download PDFs for particular vendors. We're going to download right now a PDF of all the itinerary items. And here's that list of all the itinerary items. It provides a rundown of all the vendors associated and then all the items. You can also download a PDF of an itinerary just for a particular vendor, which we will do right here. And here you can see it says it's prepared for this particular vendor and it only includes the itinerary items that have been assigned to that vendor. Well, thanks for your time. And if you have any questions about our itinerary tool or anything else, please drop us a line.